There are two ventilation systems on the A320, the laboratory and galley system and the avionics ventilation system. The lavatory and galley system is completely automatic. Cabin air is passed through the lavatory and galley areas and is removed from these areas by an extraction fan. The fan pulls air into an extraction duct and then releases it overboard through the outflow valve. Note the extraction fan runs continuously provided electrical power is available. There are no controls or indications associated with the laboratory and galley ventilation systems. Now let's look at the avionics ventilation system. The avionics ventilation system provides cooling air for the avionics equipment. This equipment includes the avionics compartment, the flight deck instruments, and the circuit breaker panels. Let's now look at how the system works. Air is circulated by two fans, a blower, and an extractor. These fans operate continuously as long as the aircraft electrical system is supplied. On the ground, provided the ambient air temperature is above a specified value, air is taken from outside the aircraft via a skin air inlet valve. The air is blown through the avionics equipment, extracted and then discharged overboard via an extract valve. This is known as open circuit configuration. If, on the ground, the ambient air temperature is below a specified value, the valves will be closed and air from within the aircraft is used. A skin heat exchanger is used to cool the circulated air. This is known as closed circuit configuration. The skin air inlet valve is located on the left side of the aircraft and the extract valve is located on the right. Both of these valves are inspected during the pre-flight walk around for damage or obstruction. Normally, from the beginning of takeoff until landing, the system is in a closed circuit configuration. In warm ambient conditions, the system may go to an intermediate configuration when the aircraft is airborne. A small internal flap on the extract valve opens to exhaust some of the heated air overboard. A section of the ECAM cabin pressure page displays avionics ventilation system information. The vent, inlet, and extract indications provide information on the state of the inlet and extract systems. Normally, they remain white. The position of the inlet and extract valves can be seen. In the example shown, the valves are open. The avionics ventilation system is in an open configuration, and in most cases, this is the indication that you will see when the aircraft is on the ground, OAT above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. In this example, the valves are closed, and the avionics ventilation system is in a closed configuration. This is the normal in-flight configuration, or when OAT is below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. When the small internal flap on the extract valve is open, the extract valve indication is in an intermediate position. This is the intermediate configuration, and this configuration can only occur in flight.
On the overhead panel, there is a ventilation panel that contains two push buttons associated with the ventilation system. During the pre-flight cockpit scan, you should confirm that these switches are in their lights-out position. The avionics ventilation system will then operate automatically and require no pilot input. The fault lights on either the blower or the extract switches illuminate for low pressure, computer problems, or as a smoke warning. In addition, the blower fault light illuminates as a warning of a duct overheat. These abnormal cases will also be reflected on the ECAM cabin pressure page, depending on the circumstances. In the example shown, both the inlet and extract indications have changed to amber. Since this is the fault with the ventilation system, the vent indication also changes to amber. The override mode is used during ECAM abnormal procedures. When the blower switch is in override mode, the blower fan is turned off. The system goes into closed configuration with air from the air conditioning system added to the ventilation air. When the extract switch is in the override mode, a reconfiguration of the ventilation system occurs to ensure adequate avionics equipment cooling. There is an ECAM procedure that requires both switches to be set to override avionic smoke. This further reconfigures the system, but on this occasion, there is a change on the cabin pressure system display. The extract valve indication shows partly open. This is telling you that a small internal flap has opened, allowing air from the ventilation system to be discharged overboard. This configuration is used in the avionic smoke procedure. This is a demonstration of an extract valve fault. Let's look at the fault indications. There is a fault message and associated checklist on the engine warning display. The ECAM cabin pressure page has been automatically called to show amber indications. A fault light has illuminated on the ventilation panel. On the EWD, read the title of the failure. Before commencing the ECAM actions, let's look at the cabin pressure page indications first. In this example, vent and extract messages are shown in amber, telling you that there is a problem with the extract system. The ECAM procedure is now followed. In the case of a ventilation extract fault, the procedure is to push the extract switch located on the ventilation panel to select override. Select the extract switch to override. When you switch to override, an override light illuminates in the switch, the fault light extinguishes, the blue action line on ECAM disappears. There are no changes to the indications on the system display, but by pushing the extract switch to override, the ventilation system has been reconfigured to ensure adequate ventilation of the avionic system. 
The next step in this example, after checking with the other pilot, is to clear ECAM. Clear cabin pressure. The status page is now displayed and the EWD returns to a normal display. The inoperative system is ventilation extraction. After confirmation from the pilot flying, clear status. The status page is replaced with the cruise page. Notice that there is an STS or status reminder at the bottom of the EWD to remind you that there is something in the status page.